So we're going to go through the steps of disbudding calves. So as you know, calves need to be disbudded before they're 28 days old. That's a legal requirement. And any calf that's older than two weeks also needs to have a local anesthetic before it gets disbudded. Now, best practice recommendation is that you use a local anesthetic for calves that are disbudded at any age, and that you also use a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory injection around the disbudding for calves of any age. So that means that the calves get a local anesthetic to desensitize the horn buds, and that will work for an hour and a half, but then also the non-steroidal anti-inflammatory will actually work for another day or two, and that will make the calves less prone to show a growth check, they will keep their appetite and they will keep uh, consuming milk. So let's get to it. So we have the calf loaded up in the crate and the first thing we want to do is obviously feel for horn buds to make sure that they are there. Um, there's no point in debudding a calf that doesn't have any horn buds yet. So this is very nice sized horn buds actually for this calf and uh, not too much hair on the actual horn buds. So there's no need to use scissors on this calf really uh, to remove the hair. So we want to desensitize the horn bud for calves that are two weeks, three weeks old, this is a legal requirement, but it is best practice to do local anesthetic for calves that are debutted at any age. So this calf is about three weeks old, so we would have to use local anesthetic anyway, but even if she was a little bit smaller, a little bit younger, we would be using it. And what we're also going to use is a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory as a longer term pain relief. See, the local anesthetic will only work for 70 to 90 minutes. And after that, the pain comes back. So by giving the calf uh, a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory, we actually give it another day or two of pain relief. Uh, and that really helps them in not getting a growth check. It doesn't put them off their milk, it doesn't, go, it doesn't diminish their appetite. So for injecting the local anesthetic, we take the horn butt, which is right here, and we take the corner of the eye, and we draw a line between the two. Along that line, midway, you'll find there is a bony ridge, and just below it is a little divot. And it's in that divot that you have to inject your local anesthetic. Gently inject that. Now draw back on the plunger to make sure that there's no blood. And then you can gently inject this calf the four to five mLs. Now obviously that's only one side done, so you want to do the other side uh, for this budding both sides. Now that needs a bit of time to work. So while that is happening, what you can do is already start up your disbudding iron. So whether you're using an electric one or a gas one, they need to preheat. So we'll start this up and let it get nice and hot. Keep it away from the straw, obviously. And what we're also going to do in the meantime is actually going to inject the calf with its anti-inflammatory. Now we're going to give this under the skin uh, and that will give us around 48 hours of it. Now this calf, the size of the calf it is, we're probably talking about one and a half ml. Now you can go in the skin, uh, under the skin in the neck if you can reach it, or if the calf is in the crate like this, it might be easier to actually go in behind its elbow. So we'll do that right now. So you lift up a good bit of skin and gently inject the calf there. Before we put the iron obviously onto the calf's horn bud, what we want to test is, is the local anesthetic properly working? So how we do that is, we actually take maybe the tip of the needle and very gently, where the horn bud is, you kindly touch that to the skin and the calf doesn't react at all. So that means that the, the, the horn bud is completely desensitized on that side and on this side. So very good. We know the local anesthetic is working. Another uh, way of checking is actually you can check the eyelids of the calf. They get a little bit droopy, um, but that mightn't be as clear. So the next step then is find your horn bud and make sure that if there's too much hair that you have clipped that away with some scissors. But for this calf, that's not necessary. And you just straight put it on there. Twist a little bit, maybe 30 seconds, a minute, all the way around. And if you want, you can always scoop out the horn bud. Uh, you don't have to do this, uh, but a lot of people do. Now, when that is scooped out, I'll show you. What you're left with is a little bit of a, a tip, but that's fine, okay? So this is really what you're looking for. You have the burnt edges all the way around, and then below that is just the bone of the skull. So you give that a little bit of a touch more so that all the, the tissue that will form the horn is, is burnt away. These budding uh, sites never really get infected. There's very low chance of them actually catching an infection, but you do want to keep the flies off it. So a, a brilliant solution for that is this silver spray or aluminium spray, and that will cover this up. Um, it doesn't rain off easily, uh, and it will cover this nicely so flies can't get at it. There you go. That's the calf done. 
So that's really a very brief overview of how you disbud calves. Uh, if you don't have a crate like this, obviously you can have somebody hold the calf um, when, you're, when you're carrying out the procedure. But sure, one of these crates is very handy uh, and, and they last you a long time. So keep in mind, use your local anaesthetic when disbudding calves of any age. Use a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory to give the calf additional pain relief for the next day or two. Make sure that this budding iron is very hot and that you burn the horn bud long enough so that there's no horn regrowth. And use your aluminium spray after this budding to keep the flies off the disbudding site.